What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today when we're taking a look at the best Shopify themes, we're going to take a look at five different themes today. Two of them are going to be free, three of them are going to be paid to give you a broad overview. So make sure you stay to the end of the video here as we'll be covering some really good themes and a theme can make a big impact on your Shopify store as it really sets the tone for the design and the layout of everything on your site. Before I dive into it, I just want to thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's going to come with a 15-day free trial, and it's going to allow you to skip those spreadsheets and get back to growing your business. And there's a link in the description below to access that trial. I'm also going to show a quick video detailing their full feature set. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. Let's dive into our first theme here, and that's going to be a free theme called Don. Don is an extremely popular Shopify theme. It's a minimalist theme that lets your product images take center stage. And so as mentioned here, it's great for baby and kids stores, books, music, and video, as well as for business equipment and supplies, clothing, health and beauty, jewelry and accessories. So overall, a lot of different niches it can fit into. And an amazing part about it is that it is free. So if you're starting your Shopify store from scratch, or if you're a larger store, and you think this fits your brand image, it's free and it comes with a lot of customization options. It does have a mega menu, a sticky header, as well as some really clean design. If we take a look at the demo here, we can see it's a great product header. It can have rotating product images here. You have different collection images on your homepage, different descriptions. It has a nice footer menu. And so it's gonna have a lot of functionality out of the box. If we take a look at the product page, it makes it easy to switch between variants, getting different colors, a really nice quantity switcher. And it has these product tabs here, which are a great feature as it lets you include quite a bit of information in the product page. We can see it's separated from materials, shipping and returns, and so on. It also allows for similar products and you can have different product descriptions here. So we can see different tabs such as free shipping, and hassle-free exchanges. If we take a look at the collection pages, it has quite a bit of filtering out of the box from price, color, and product type. You can also sort by best selling and availability. This is great if you have a larger collection of products that lets customers access what they're looking for quickly. And as mentioned, it does have a sticky header out of the box there, so there's no need to get an additional app. Again, this theme is completely free, so if you're interested in it, you can check that out quite easily. Next, we'll take a look at Ride. This is another free theme from Shopify. It's a distinct dynamic theme that champions the world of sports. It's great for books, music and video, electronics, hardware and automotive, as well as sports and recreation. It's very much a sports center design. So although they did mention one, if you're looking for one that fits a sports store, this could be a great option for you as it tends to pop quite a bit. If we take a look at the demo, we can see it is quite a bright pop-up header and allows for a really clean layout depending on your product imagery. You can see it fits quite nicely here with the surfboards and that whole aesthetic. And so overall, some nice components to the homepage here. We can see it has this nice new release section with different features for this product here. It allows for a nice expansive footer menu as well. It has a newsletter pop-up at the bottom so you can collect email addresses. If we take a look at the collection page, it allows for some nice photo imagery at the top of it rather than just going to the products. You can see again it has filters here so we can filter by price, availability, featured, as well as going to display the total products. And if we click into one of the products here, we can see again it's going to have the tabs for the product page so you can easily add a bunch of information without overwhelming the user. It's gonna be very similar here in terms of its add to cart and buy now buttons. Again, we're not gonna take a look at the mobile layout too much as all Shopify themes are gonna have really good mobile layouts and everything's gonna be formatted nicely. So there's not too much to worry about on that front. Again, this is gonna be a free theme. So if you're interested in this one and you don't have a product line that's gonna lend itself nicely, you should try this theme out and it's free so you can download it and check it out for yourself. Now let's move on to paid themes here. The first one we take a look at is called Prestige. It's designed for premium high-end appeal. So if you're selling luxury goods or business related products and you're looking for something that has a high appeal, this is a great theme for you. It also has an unlimited free trial. You can pay before you publish it so this gives you a really good opportunity to see what it looks like with your product imagery, your homepage layout currently, and if it's the design that you're looking for for your brand. So that's great there, so you can check it out as well. So let's dive into the demo so we get an idea of what the theme looks like. And right off the bat, there are different theme styles. You have Allure, Vogue, and Couture, giving you pre-built styling options right out of the box here, which is really nice. It's gonna make it really easy to design your store in a quick amount of time if one of these matches your brand. So let's take a look at Vogue here. You see overall a nice mega menu with different options and product imagery. See quite a few 
homepage components. We can have different featured products, different collections, as well as different products that we want to feature along with stories and different tabs here to give more details on the homepage. They also have a nice blog link here so you can link to different articles on your website. And again, a full footer menu here so we can see the newsletter, the about section, the shop section, as well as an about description of the shop so you get an idea of what they're selling. If we dive into the collection page here, we can see some nice imagery at top, making it easy to separate your product categories. So this one is skincare. So it's gonna have the title and a nice description along with a good layout for the product. If we dive into the product page now, again, they're gonna have the different tabs here that you can expand to get more information, as well as the product descriptions and the add to cart button. So overall, a very similar layout here. As the structure for most websites are similar, it's gonna depend on the styling options. And there are quite a few bit of predefined styles here, making it easy to set up your Shopify store. Something else to note about the free themes versus the paid themes is that many stores have the free themes. So a lot of Shopify stores tend to look similar on that front where there's going to be less paid users. So if you have a more premium theme, it might help your store stand out a little bit. So we take a look at some of the features for this paid theme here. They have blogs, cross selling, an FAQ page, along with a stock counter and store locator. They have different merchandising options for image rollover, product tabs, product videos, a size chart, slideshows, and usage information. They also have a mega menu enhanced search as well as a sticky header. If we take a look at some reviews here, as this is a paid theme, we can see it's 92% positive, with a lot of the recent reviews really enjoying the theme is it has good customization and a good UI. Next, let's take a look at the symmetry theme. So this one's gonna be the same price. It's gonna be good for clothing, jewelry and accessories, health and beauty, sports and recreation, outdoor garden, home and decor, as well as electronics. And it's good for high volume stores, physical stores, with visual storytelling. If we take a look at the demo again to get an idea of how this theme looks, we can see there are four pre-built styles here, which is really great as it's gonna give you a lot of options. So first, let's take a look at the Duke one and see the example here is a skateboard brand. At the top, we can see they have a newsletter pop-up, which is going to be built in. That's great because you won't need an external app for that. The collection page is, again, going to allow for a lot of detail with different collections, different featured sections. We can see this one's featuring a blog post, different videos, as well as different product collections. Again, it's going to be a very similar mega menu, which is great for customers as it makes it easier for them to browse products. You can see if we open up one of the sections here, it has a really nice top section where it's gonna be divided by decks, accessories, a featured collection, as well as a sales section. And overall, it's gonna have a great product filtering option on the left with a lot more detail. Here, so we can see we can filter by color, price, out of stock, as well as different product types and different sizes. This is gonna be great if you're a clothing store. This is gonna add a lot of functionality there. We wanna take a look at some of the product pages. You can see it opens up inside the collection page, which is interesting. And if we click into it, we can get more details. Again, it's gonna have these product tabs here. It's gonna have a pickup section. So if you have a physical store, you can see when you can pick it up and where you can pick it up, which is nice. A nice related product section. And it does add quite a bit of detail to the product page. We can see this featured image, as well as features and benefits of the product, as well as a video followed by the similar product section, giving you more about the brand and the company as well. So again, quite a few features, color swatch, high resolution images, shipping delivery information, Overall, very similar to the other themes here as they all provide quite a bit of featured, especially for the paid ones. If we take a look at the reviews, it's sitting at 93% positive on 279 reviews. And overall, the reviews say that the support is really good. So that is awesome to hear. All right, we have one more theme left here and that's gonna be the warehouse theme. And it's gonna be designed to display and promote a large category of products. So we can see it's great for electronics, sports and recreation, home and decor, as well as drop shippers, flash sales, and high volume stores. One of the ways it does that is tailored for large catalogs and it has a powerful collection page builder that lets you organize, present and filter catalogs with thousands of products. So if this is the type of store that you have, this could be a great theme for you. If we check out the demo here, we can see it comes with some pre-built theming selections. Let's leave it on metal for now. It has a pre-built newsletter option so you can collect email addresses. If we take a look at the homepage, this really is designed for large categories as it really easily lets you display a lot of information at once. If you go to a huge site, with large inventories such as Walmart or Best Buy. It is quite similar in terms of how they lay things out. So we can see different overall categories. A header section, you can see the collections are split up into quite a few here, giving you a broad range, along with different featured collections. And it makes it easy to add quite a few images and collections in a small amount of space, making the information easy to digest. You can see different brands they distribute, different featured sections. We can see they have an in stock tab here to say 44 units left. You can see how much is left. So it's gonna encourage the customer to purchase right away. Different top rated products, 
products. So overall, a ton of information on the homepage it really has a prominent search bar. So similar to big sites such as Amazon, you have inventory that's large. Customers are going to come in and search for the product. It's going to make their life a whole lot easier. Now let's take a look at the collection page as it's something they advertise as a benefit to this theme. And we can see on the left here, it's separated by collections, different subcategories. And then from there, you have some good filtering options such as price, brand, and availability. You also have different view sections, making it easier for the customer. You can sort by the number of page as well as alphabetically best-selling features and so on. If you click into the product page, you can see it really mimics a site like Amazon. So you can see reviews, we can see the description, shipping and returns, as well as payment and security, as well as estimated shipping too, which can be great to give your customers how long it's going to take for them to get their product. So overall, an excellent product page. You can have a currency converter built in, as well as a sticky header. If we take a look at the reviews, it has 87% positive with 233 reviews. One of the reviews here is from a merchant with a medium to large catalog, and overall, they really like the theme as it made it easier, which is exactly what this theme promises. So overall, this concludes the video on the best Shopify themes. We looked at five themes here, two free ones, three paid ones. And overall, we tried to cover themes with different pros and cons and built for different types of stores. Let me know in the comments if we missed any themes that you think should have been included. And if you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below as that really helps the channel out. Lastly, I want to mention our sponsor, ProfitCalc again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. And there's a link in the description below to access a 15-day free trial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.